To remove the hot end of the OM656, first open the cooling water cap. This way a vacuum doesn't result during the subsequent draining. Now remove the screws on the underfloor cover, then take them off. Then drain the cooling water. For further work, please disconnect the battery. Remove the side engine cover by lifting it and pulling it out forwards. Pay attention to the rear catch tabs. Unlatch the engine air intake duct on the right side and slide it to the left to unhook it. Loosen the six plug connectors of the cable harness and the two clamps on the clean air duct. Undo the screw of the air filter box and remove it. Now remove the clean air duct. Renew the green ceiling ring upon reinstallation. Disconnect the electrical connector from the differential pressure sensor at the clean air chamber and disconnect the plug from the heating element of the crankcase. Remove the screw. Then disconnect the bleed line. Loosen the two clamps on the clean air chamber and remove them. The red ceiling ring on the side of the turbocharger must also be renewed upon reinstallation. Also replace the hose to the low pressure EGR valve upon reinstallation. The clamps already fixed on the hose are to be replaced by screw clamps. Observe the installation position of the clamps. When reinstalling, the catch of the clean air chamber must be aligned with the catch of the turbocharger and the red ceiling ring must not jam. In the next step, remove the diesel oxidization catalytic converter or CAT for short. To do this, disassemble the heat insulation and the differential pressure sensor. The removal of the sensor system is next. To do this, first disconnect the sensor connection and then the NOx control unit. Please take note of the required talk in the VIS document here as well as in all further steps. Unscrew the sensor system of the CAT. Remove the sound insulation from the V-belt. And remove the temperature sensor from the CAT. Cut the cable harness from the holder of the NOx sensor, slide the insulation back and remove the metering valve. Loosen the mount on the diesel particulate filter. and remove the fastening screws of the bracket on the catalytic converter to the diesel particulate filter. Remove the catalytic converter. Be sure to replace both clamps, the seals and all four screws upon reinstallation and tighten them with the specified torque. Loosen the union nut and disconnect the connection clip of the diesel particulate filter to the exhaust pipe. Be sure to replace them upon reinstallation. If you then want to remove the turbocharger, you can skip the next steps. We now go to the removal of the diesel particulate filter. To do this, remove one fixing screw at the front of the heat shield and two at the rear of the diesel particulate filter, as well as the clamp for the low pressure EGR. 
Be sure to replace all relevant screws, clamps and sealing rings when reinstalling and tighten with the specified torque. If you're working on a rear-wheel drive vehicle, follow the steps below. If you have a four-wheel drive vehicle, first disassemble the windscreen washer fluid reservoir. In both cases, remove the mounting screw on the cylinder head of the cooling circuit and then remove it. Remove the diesel particulate filter. Installation is in the reverse order. For better visibility, we've removed the turbocharger.